happens Srinivas here. So in this series, we will validate all the certification DOMS questions and answers. Mm -hmm. So I have completed my first video. You can continue with the second one. And uh, we will start with the question number six for the GL questionnaire. And uh, you are creating values for the chart up account. Value set that you are planning to use for the account segment with your chat up account but you are not able to assign <laughs> on account type so here the question is planning to you so that means this value set has not been assigned to the coa structures that's why this attributes a segment level account type segment level will not be applicable here so that's why he is not able to assign the account type so answer will be you are creating the values for the value set before assigning the value set to the structures. So that's the problem element. So question, a correct answer will be B and A is the incorrect answer, right? Because before creating the values for the value set, first you have to assign that uh, value set to the COA structures uh, in accounting segments or account segments so that account segment we are qualifying as a natural accounting uh, qualifier and from that qualifier uh, it will be treated as a uh, account segment qualifier and uh, you, we can able to create values for account like uh, assets liabilities expenses and revenues right so correct answer will be b question number seven you are using the you are using the create budget in a spreadsheet option to load your budget balances into the GL balance queue. And the budget is not appearing in the budget name in the list of value. So you can see like uh, in the SBS queue, it is multi-dimensional and budget is one of the dimension. Okay. So the scenario dimension includes budget and actual balance and here the issue can be why the budget is not appearing. That means the create scenario dimension member program has not been drawn. That is one of the region. Second region, budgeting. Uh, yeah, what is the yeah? A value for the budget scenario has not been created. Okay, so this dimension, this dimension of budget is not been created as a budget scenario, and this program has not been. Around. So, correct answer will be A and D. So, B and D is the incorrect answer. <coughs> okay. Question number 8. You are using accounting hierarchy for reporting and allocation. Which two statements are true about this hierarchy? Okay. So, what are the correct answers? So, hierarchy is for reporting and allocations don't have to be published to SBSQ. No, we have to publish. It's mandatory. So answer D is one of the correct answer. Hierarchies for reporting and allocations have to be published. So if you notice, if you are creating one allocation rules if the and you are using hierarchies, accounting hierarchies, if it is not published, it will not be visible during creation of rule. So, <clears throat> mandatorily we have to publish for allocation and reportings so d is one of the answer second correct answer is child values in the hierarchies can only be belongs to one parent. that is correct yeah so that is correct uh, child values they cannot belongs to multiple parents if uh, the same child values belongs to multiple parents you cannot able to publish the hierarchies so that's why uh, if you want to publish uh, the accounting hierarchies, child values in this hierarchies can belong to only one parent. Question number nine. So answer will be C and D, <coughs> not N and D. So C and D is the correct answer. Question number nine. You need to define a chart up account <coughs> that includes intercompany segments. Your customer plans to use company segment value security for the company segments. What is the Oracle recommended method to define this chart up account? 
okay so you know security rules you actually apply at value set level so if you want to uh, apply the security rules uh, for uh, okay for company segment okay so if you apply the security rule company segment and you should not use the same company segment as the intercompany segment values okay because you are only going to apply the security rule for the company segment so that to avoid this same security rule should not apply to the intercompany segment then you have to create a separate value set for intercompany so that is the ideal recommendation so <coughs> answer will be uh, create two different value set for company and intercompany segments so that security rules only will be applied to company segment value set not should apply to the intercompany segment so answer is d is the correct one question number 10 you want to monitor close process for all your sub ledger and ledgers including a consolidated profit and loss positions how quickly you update the information so close monitor yeah so close monitor is one of the best tool we can use to uh, quickly obtain this information okay so the answer will be c use close monitor in accounting dashboard is the correct answer Question number eleven. You have noticed that a lot of erroneous address data has been saved. You want to ensure that only valid address are entered. So there is a program, geography validation program. So if you define the geography validations for country option to error, okay. So every country is have some particular address format, and uh, if you uh, define the geography validation. for country option to error then any invalid address components so it will not be validated and uh, it will not be saved so correct answer will be d <coughs> question number 12 you want to archive multiple archive multiple sorry question number 12 you want to achieve multiple or multi step cascading allocations that means uh, one after one you want to apply the allocation rules so in this case you can use the rule set allocation rule set so in one rule set there will be multiple allocation rules combined together okay so you can use the rule set c is the correct answer question number 13 which two statements are true regarding the balance cube in general ledger balance cube okay so basically when the period is open uh, the balance cube will be updated okay so there are updated automatically when the general ledger period is open in translation process is run then also the balance cube will be updated so b and c the correct answer okay <coughs> b and c when the ledger period is open and translation process is run question number 14 you want to create ad hoc analysis in smart view and uh, you enter the following dimension for the report okay in the point of view so here uh, you get missing instead of a balance what the reason so in this case if any mandatory dimension is missing or point of view is missing then you will get the missing figure so in this case uh, you have not specified a particular currency see any balance you are trying to extract through smart view report you have to mention the currency of that uh, balance otherwise you will not get the output and you will get a missing result so answer will be you have not specified the particular currency okay so c is the correct answer a is the wrong answer Which three are placed? Which uh, which three are places where account hierarchies can be used? So which can be used in uh, revaluation and uh, cross validation rules and smart view 
analysis okay <clears throat> if you see you can create your revaluation template using uh, uh, this accounting hierarchies you can uh, build your cross validation rules you can use the accounting hierarchies and uh, smart view report also use accounting hierarchy or balance queue so a b c is the correct answer d ledger option is the wrong answer actually a b is the wrong answer answer is a b c is the correct answer question number 16 you entered following information in companies and legal entity step per rapid implementation spreadsheet okay assuming uh, currency field is the blank in the ledger works how many ledgers will be process so you can see here company description you will see uh, first check how many countries see uk is one country canada is one country and uh, then we have france america so america us corporation if you see vision us corporate america you can for them you can create one ledger for france we can create one ledger for canada we can create one ledger and for this vision uk corporate and vision uk we can create one ledger so total four ledger we can create for all these legal entities question number 17 you are defining income statement report using financial reporting web studio user of this report need to be able to analyze balance directly from the report okay so there is a functionality called drill through in grid properties okay so it's kind of drill down functionality in oracle general ledger so here through drill through in grid properties you can uh, navigate to source transactions <coughs> or you can analyze the balance so question correct answer is c question number 18 uh, after completing a business requirements mapping session it has been decided that only single currency journal will be entered for this currencies so how how we can limit a journal to single currency there are two sources uh, that is ledger option and journal sources okay so a and d is the correct answer a d is the correct answer <coughs> in journal sources and specify ledger option you can mention the currency question number 19 uh, you can predefined you can run predefined report to reconcile sub ledger application balances to general ledger so there are reports already payable to general ledger reconciliation report right or receivable general ledger to reconciliation report so here the question is uh which attributes need to be set up so here answer will be c financial category so when you are uh, creating the values for your uh, chat up account value sheets for this uh, payable and receivable account you have to mention the financial category okay once you assign the financial category then only you can able to run this uh, report and uh, the output will be coming for these reports so this is the mandatory attributes you have to assign to these values okay so the answer will be c question number 20 when constructing a new chart up account instance it has been decided to control the list of values within the certain segment with use of related value set okay so related value set concept i have already created one videos if you want to link one value set to another value set okay <coughs> so you can use the related value set so link two values together so this is the true b is the true okay uh, link two value set together okay and uh, what are the three steps should be considered okay 
so use independent validated type value sets okay you know like uh, for chart of account whatever value set we are creating they are uh, qualified with independent validated value set right so b and f the correct answer and another correct answer will be order order of segment determine filtering sequence okay <clears throat> so you can order when you are creating your value set you can uh, give the order and sequence numbering and that will determine the filtering sequence so correct answer will be b d and e sorry correct answer will be b and uh, b d and f okay a c is the wrong answer so b link two value set together and uh, d order of the segments determine the filtering sequence and use independent validated type value sets so this is the correct answer thank you guys we will discuss some other questions in our next session thank you keep watching this videos